In this video, we're going to talk about global variables. Those are variables that can be used from one screen to the next. In the last video, we talked about an app variable being local, meaning this variable can be used on this page and not on any other page in the app. So we'll start with that and then we'll work our way into loops and, and what that means and how that could be useful in programming an app. Okay, so let's get started talking about a global variable. In Thunkable, they call the, the local variable, the variable that can be used on this game screen only, they call that an app variable. I want to use a stored variable because that variable can be used on any page in my app. So I'm going to change this to a stored variable and I'll change this other one to a stored variable as well. Now if you notice, when I declare this variable now, because it's global, I was not able to set it equal to the list or equal to one. So we just need to add one more step that when the game screen starts, now we'll set those variables equal to what we want them to be. So if I go into variable, I want to set my color list to be the list that I created up above. I also then want to set my which item. I need to make sure I change that here. Be careful there. So I want to set the which item in list. I want that to be set to a value of one. Everything else will work as it did before. Okay, the reason I wanted to do this is because now on the next page, once they click here that they've found the color that they prefer, the, the screen will wait for two seconds and then go to the end screen. When I go to the end screen, I have created just a background image and a label that says thanks for playing. So what I want to do is toggle this thanks for playing back and forth between the color they prefer and the a color of white. So it kind of looks like it's flashing. All right, so I'm gonna use that color that they prefer to style that end screen. So when the end screen starts, I want to flash that label. So I'm going to grab this when the end screen starts. I'm going to take that goodbye label and I want to set the background color to be the color that they chose on the previous screen. So we're going to, from the list, we're going to get the item from the list and we're going to use that, that global list name that we had, which was the color list. So we're going to say from that color list, go get whichever number we were on, whichever item it was in the list. And we're going to make the background color of this label be the color that they preferred. Now, if we wait for one second, or actually let's make it a half a second to make it flash a little bit faster. And then we'll change the color back to a white background. So that'll make it have kind of a flashing appearance. And then I'll change this to white. And then if I wait another half a second, and then I can change it back to green again. Now this is going to get really tedious if I just keep doing this over and over again. This is going to get really long, but I want it to toggle back and forth. I want it to go green, white, green, white, green, white several times. So that's where loops come in. A loop is something, is, is a command that will allow a block of code to repeat itself as many times as you wish. In Thunkable, they call those repeat blocks. In text-based languages, they use a for loop. So we're going to use a repeat block, and I'm going to have this toggle back and forth 10 times, and we'll see how that looks. So I'm gonna get rid of this extra stuff. I'm just gonna throw that in the trash. 
And I'm going to take the rest of this code and put that inside of this loop. So now what's going to happen is we'll turn the background color to whatever one they chose, wait a half a second, turn it to white, wait a half a second, and then come back up and do that again. Now it'll change the color back to the one they wanted, wait a half a second, white, half second, and then repeat that a third time. And then we'll do that 10 times to give you kind of a flashing appearance. So let's go take a look at that. If I run this from the start now, I have three screens. I'm going to say, yes, I want to start. I'll toggle through these. Oh, let's go with pink. That's the one I like. So here's my little saying, and now it's flashing pink and white, pink and white. If I were to start over, so let's play again, we go back to the beginning, and let's say I chose orange this time. I have that in orange, and we're going to flash the orange color. Now that all happened with the global variable, the variable that we were able to use on all pages, and a loop that allowed us to repeat blocks of code numerous times. Now it's your turn.